A week ago, we were hit with a super typhoon named Odette. Since then, we haven't had power, water, internet, anything. The last week has just been about trying to survive. But this morning, we woke up and realized it's Christmas Eve. My own Boontag wonders, it is really hard to get a good sleep here without electricity. Isai and I haven't had like a full restful night of sleep since it started because we can't close these doors. So that means we can hear all the sounds from outside. Like often there'll be like dogs going crazy or just something. I don't know what it is. Like there'll be just loud noises outside that wake both of us up. That's what happened last night. There was some crazy noise. And then I know Isai didn't fall back asleep for hours, but that's happened pretty much every night. We actually use a white noise machine on my phone, like on an app that blocks out the smaller sounds, but the bigger ones we can't get. We need the, we need the door and the window shut and the aircon on to block that stuff out. But hopefully soon, more and more power's coming back. We actually have signal now, finally. We have good signal here again. So we're able to stay updated with everything that's going on. And yeah, more and more power's coming back, more places. I don't know about the water yet, but um, the mayor here in Liloan still says she wants it on by Christmas, which is tomorrow. It's Christmas Eve now. It doesn't feel like Christmas Eve, but it is. So we'll see if that happens. I, I'm holding out hope that it'll come back today, but um, if it doesn't, I won't be surprised. Pan de sal and manga for breakfast. Really brings me back to when Izai and I first met. We would get this uh, every day for for a few days, like a week or something. I don't know how long. We just bought a bunch of mangoes and then we would walk down to the bread shop every day and get fresh pan de sal. This one's not fresh. It's a, a little squished, but eh, it still tastes good. So we're in Gaisano uh, to get groceries. And there was like a line to get in and then everyone rushed in really fast. It feels like Black Friday in here almost, but just to like get groceries, <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, but we got this cake, chiffon cake. And man, there's a lot of people in here. They literally just opened. Holy crap. Feels like COVID days all over again. People are like rushing in the grocery. The only Pringles anywhere has left is sour cream and onion. I don't like sour cream and onion. Ugh. Let me know in the comments, what's your favorite flavor of Pringles? I'm looking for barbecue. We've been in here like not even five minutes and the lines are already getting long for checkout. I've never seen people like rush and freak out so much with groceries before. This is crazy. Like, I've literally never seen something like this. We're just here because we need food, man. We are back home. That was a pretty crazy experience. The line was already long. We had only been in there like 20 minutes? Not that long. And it was just getting longer and longer. When we left, it was like a madhouse in there. So many people, so glad we went at like opening. Also, the lines here in the Philippines for groceries just take a long time. I might've mentioned that before. I don't know why it takes so long, but it's the slowest I've ever seen. And I've never once in the Philippines ever seen like a self checkout like they have in the US and in Australia. I don't know why they don't have them, but it would be nice to see because they're really useful and they really do make things go quicker. I actually wanted to film a lot more of that experience, but I couldn't because they were not letting people film. Like it seems like what I've noticed is when things are good, nobody cares if you film. Obviously so many people have filmed in malls. We filmed in malls so many times, but as soon as something's wrong, and maybe the mall or the grocery store or whatever isn't at its like best, maybe something's wrong there, they don't have a lot of stuff, or the air con's not working, or something's wrong, that's when they like start telling you not to film, I've noticed. I don't know if that's true, but we've noticed it multiple times, and every time we're told not to film, it's either like when COVID is really in full swing and things are bad, or now since the typhoon hit, we're getting told not to film again. 
So I think maybe they're afraid that they'll look bad. I have no clue. But that was our morning. We may still walk down to the Mercado and get some fruit, but our motorbike's out of gas again. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure out something with that, but we probably won't leave again until after Christmas, so we don't need to worry about it. We're finally headed out to the Mercado. I don't think I've ever filmed this for you guys. Maybe I have. But like this the one. Other Mercado, yeah, I think one. I filmed the other one. But this one is actually our more local one. We're having to walk because we don't have enough gas. I mean, we still have some gas, but. The guy wants to die. We still have some gas, but uh, it's just enough for us to go to the gas station next time we need to get gas. So we can't use it now. Also, there's actually a new executive order here in the Loan that only allows people, like regular people, who aren't essential for rebuilding everything, to get gas between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't fixed any of the lines or anything like that, according to our neighbor. So now, you just still wait in a really long line. You just do it at night instead of like in the morning or in the day. So, I guess we don't need sleep. So we'll probably just go into Cebu when we need gas. It looked better in the city. Almost there. Just over here is where 7-Eleven is. Last time we went in there, we actually filmed it. They were like selling basically nothing. It was very strange. And then just past the 7-Eleven is the Mercado up here. Mercado, by the way, for my foreign viewers is a public market. Oh yeah, there's 7-Eleven still. They just have like tables set up. <laughs> Trying to cross the road in the Philippines be like... Now, maybe we should go further down to cross? Okay, here we go. Public market. Let's find a way in. It looks busy. Everything's busy today. Vegetables. place where you really got to have your mask on man. Remember this isn't even in the city. This is a province market. Think about it in the city. The pork shop is not looking so good. Here's what we're looking for. Fruit. A big what? Tiki. Where? Oh. 170. For what? For the mango. Oh, it was 180 yesterday. There's mango there. On the other side? Okay, let's check the other side. We gotta cross again. Back to playing Frogger. Getting another roasted chicken tonight. Thankfully, these things are like all over the place. It's so easy to find. Uh, and we got music playing. If you've never been to the Philippines before, this is pretty common how it sounds. It's like loud music pretty much everywhere. All right, we got our chicken. That was a pretty long line. 
Now we just need to find our fruit. A lot of it doesn't look uh, super great. That's why we haven't bought any yet, but we're just gonna have to buy something. All right, we bought a few things from the public market, but we didn't get the fruit we came for because I don't know, none of it looked that great. It either looked not ripe enough or it looked too ripe. Uh, all the best ones seem to be sold, but there are some bananas down here that we've seen before. We'll check there. Maybe we can find mango as well, but I'm not sure. If we can at least get some bananas, that'll be good. Look at this, uh, look at this fat dog. <laughs> we see him down here all the time. So cute. Well guys, we didn't find banana on the way home, but we found banana cake. <laughs> Another roasted chicken for dinner tonight, and tomorrow is Christmas. Are we gonna have power tomorrow? I'm starting to lose faith, but uh, I'm hopeful. It'll come on tomorrow and it'll be a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Let's find out tomorrow.